What's up, everybody? Your local woman, Remy, here, coming up with Gaming's Dungeon, and I can't talk to you about stagnation in games. So you're wondering what I mean by stagnation in games. Easy. All the games are the same nowadays. They all look like Fortnite, and they all have microtransactions, and a tier system, and nothing's being new. So what's going on now? People usually say, you guys are at fault for buying the games, you guys are the idiots, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, the idiots finally spoke up. If you haven't looked at the numbers, if you're not really a really market connoisseur, uh, EA's gone down like what? 40% of their market, they went from $160 to like $80 a stock. Activision went from like $140 to $70 a stock. Uh, Ubisoft, <laughs> laughing out loud, went from like, what, $60 a stock to like $15 a stock? Yeah, that's bad. That means you guys are going broke. Well, you're not going to go out of business, but you're going, you're losing money. And your investors are starting to see that, and your customers are starting to see that. You guys have horrible customer service as well. At least Fortnite's with Holy Sword got replaced, and they took it out, and they said that, you know, it was just it was OP'd and unbalanced. When you guys asked to fix Call of Duty Black Ops 4, the developer said, hell no. We asked for Orbital, Orbital VSAT. He said, hell no. We asked for better matchmaking and non-rigged games, like we don't know all games are rigged now. If you didn't notice in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, it's been shown on YouTube many, 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 many times. You do good one match, you do bad one match, you do, you do equal one match. It's becoming the new standard. Everyone's catching it because they want the noobs to keep the controllers in their hands and the diehard players to keep playing but feel like they're good, but they're not good, but then they are good. Yeah. It's not a but it's not a it's not a dumb business tactic. We've seen it all the time. The thing is, kids are going. We're old now. We're starting to get used to it. You're only preying on the fucking what eight the fucking sixteen year olds because they're stupid now because they don't know what we used to have back then. Back in the day, if I wanted if I had to put a microtransaction to my game, I got something worth something. I got a map pack. I got four new maps to run around and kill people on. Now you fucking pay a hundred dollars for a game, and then you got paying another sixty dollars for these fucking points. And guess what you got? Cosmetics, because I look good. I look good when, you're, when I'm shooting the fuck out of y'all, right? You guys all look good when I'm pu fucking putting up my numbers. You guys look great. Nice going. $60 for me to bust that ass even faster. Thank you. So, the, I'm not the idiot. You guys are idiots fucking playing into this shit. And then now you guys are getting caught. And then guess what? All you big developers should fucking be ashamed of yourself because you all lost the classic consoles this year. The NES Classic, Sega Classic, PlayStation Classic, all even emulators are beating you guys. You guys are losing to fucking games 20 years old because you guys are so stagnant. All the fucking multiplayer games look horrible. And then, let me tell you, like Battlefield and Fallout 76, you guys went broke. You guys are woke now. And guess what? You're broke. Because you have horrible games. So please, developers, and all everyone in the gaming industry, stop fucking making everything Fortnite and looking for microtransactions. It sucks. Buzzle, big shout out to El, El Schwing, Trick Please, Biggs, Dental Dan. Thanks for watching.